Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to show you how I was able to get my dual encoders on my switch box to work with the GPS module. So if you're interested in this video, please stay tuned. Alright, so there are a couple of things we are going to need to get this working properly. The first thing is the mobile flight connector program that you can get from mobileflight.com. If you go to the website on the main page, there's a download button. Download the most current version. I am using version 9.0 as we speak. Download it to your computer and I will show you what's next after that. The next program is Pete and John Dawson's FSUIPC. You're going to need that also. Download it, install it, and I will show you what else you need to do. The third thing is this mobile flight event file, event file one and two, available for FSU IPC. It's on the Flight Sim Network forums. I'll also put a link down in the description for those files. And those are the three things that you need, guys the mobile flight connector, the FSU IPC, and the event files that work with FSU IPC. So you can get the list of mobile flight events in FSU IPC. Okay. All right, guys, so where we are, here we are. This is the mobile flight. So I've downloaded mobile flight connector. I extracted it, and once I extracted it, these are all the files that are in the folder. I put that that folder, the mobile flight connector version nine, in my C drive. You can put it wherever you want on your computer, but I have mine on my C drive. And inside of that folder, you do not need to run the program. The only thing you need in here, this needs to be on your computer, but the only thing that you need in here is this Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 module. So inside of that folder is another folder called Mobile Flight Event Module. Copy that folder over to your community folder like so. And once it's into your community folder, that step is complete, okay? Next, we need to go into FSU IPC and copy the Mobile Flight Event files that you downloaded into the main folder, the root folder of your FI, FSU IPC folder. So mine is in my C drive, and here are the event files. In those event files, as you can see, it has a list of all the GPS buttons, knobs, and so on and so forth listed for one and two. Now let's go over to Microsoft Flight Simulator and look what's happening. Okay, so in here, notice that when I move the large knob to the right or to the left, the screen changes. It cycles through these the screens right here. If I move the small knob, notice that it goes through also. So each one of those, the small knob controls these little ones, the large knob controls the different screens that I'm on. All right, and the way to get this to work is by going into your FSUI PC, right click, Go to buttons and switches and here if i rotate the large knob notice now it says mobile flight as 530 right large knob right gns 530 this is this module the right side large knob when i rotate it's picking it up when i rotate the small knob it's picking it up i'm rotating to the right if i rotate to the left it is also picking it up and that's how you're able to get those. Now, if I click on the list, notice that it brings up all the event files for the mobile flight connector. Again, I do not have to have the mobile flight connector running. I just need the event files and I need that folder on my computer. All these other files are from FSU IPC, but these event files will work, is what will allow you to use your switch box, your dual encoders, your buttons, your knobs, and get them to work with your GPS module, okay? Without that, it makes it really difficult when you're trying to rotate if you're not right on it and you know, the screen moves back and forth and so on. Also, in order to get this list to show up on FSU IPC, Microsoft Flight Simulator must be running and your plane needs to be at an airport, okay? That way, you are able to bind your keys and your knobs to it. This list will not show up if the sim is not running, even if you have FSU IPC open. One more thing. I'm also using 
a Tinsy board. Okay, I'm using a Tinsy 4.0 to do this. You could use, there's other projects out there, other videos that you can do this with without using Tinsy. You can use the Druno and a Mobi Flight, but because I already had a Tinsy board and I didn't want to buy on the Juno board, I wanted to find a way to get my Tinsy board to work with the GPS. And you know, again, thanks to, to John Dawson and to the guys over at Mobi Flight for creating those programs. I really appreciate it, good looking. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I will leave all the links in the description to the files and to the website. Thank you and have a good one.